Two Lansing police officers were both shot in the leg with a gun that had been wrestled away from a detective. It's our top story at 11. Thank you for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. Sherry Jones has the night off. Well, we have learned new information in the last few hours on the shootings of two Lansing police officers and the suspect in the case. Rachel Ramsey was at the Lansing Police Department for an updated news conference and is here for you now with the latest details, including what we know about the suspect. Rachel? Yeah, Siobhan, the police chief says the shooting happened in the 2000 block of West Holmes Road. He says the 28 year old suspect was under investigation by detectives for a violent crime that happened earlier in the week. But after officers tried to take the man into custody, there was a struggle. That's when police say the suspect got a detective's gun and started shooting. These are three families that have been affected. They're, they're people like me and you. They have emotions. They have to deal with this trauma. Terrence Cooper says he was near the area of the shooting today and says it's a blessing no one died. But he hopes those involved and their families can find a healthy way to process what they've just been through. You got to get help when this type of stuff happens. There are people that seen seen the shootings happening. That is trauma and we don't deal with it. Lansing Police Chief Ellery Sosby says shortly after 11 o'clock this morning, detectives were following up on a violent crime from earlier in the week when they asked for two patrol officers to help with a traffic stop involving the 28 year old suspect. But police say when they tried to take him into custody, things took a turn. The suspect attempted to flee the officers on foot. Officers quickly caught the subject and a struggle ensued after that. During the struggle, the accused disarmed one of the detectives and discharged the firearm striking two police officers. Police say one of the officers then shot back, hitting the suspect. Both the officers and suspect do not have life threatening injuries. The chief says officers identities and video of the incident will be released at a later date. I mean, they're trying to do a job protecting the community that they swore to protect and because uh, we've, you know, the criminals that we deal with today are empowered and emboldened and believe that they have no consequences and aren't going to be hold, held accountable, they react and act like this to, towards law enforcement. Michigan State Police are handling the investigation and police say the suspect is in custody. This is what our officers uh, face every day. Um, do I think it will get better? Yes, I do. I think we're on that, that upward trend, um, but we've got a long road to go. There is a nonprofit called the 100 Club of Greater Lansing that works with law enforcement and other first responders to help with financial donations and support. Ingham County Sheriff Scott Rigglesworth says these officers will likely get that support. Siobhan.